Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards. And today, we're taking a look at a switch from Keyboom. This is the Topaz. Now, this is quite an interesting switch. I've got to say, um, Keyboom is releasing some keyboards that are kind of putting the rest of the market on their toes because there's some really interesting designs and designs that we haven't seen copied from other people but with their switches that they just released i've been sent two of them and i've already reviewed the uh, tactile uh, which was the uh, milky taro cream or taro cream milk something like that i can't remember these names <laughs> there's so many of them but today we're taking a look at the topaz which is quite an interesting linear switch now this is a fully polycarbonate body but one of the things that I've seen that they do with their switches that no one else, or at least no one else advertises, is that they have palladium contact points for their spring leaves. Now, palladium is one of those rare earth metals, so it's kind of interesting that they're actually using that. And I'm wondering if that's what gives this that, that it's, a, it's a smooth feel. Um, whereas... Don't get me wrong, I find palm switches, especially switches with palm stems, to be extremely smooth. This is probably one of the smoothest switches I've felt. Like, um, there's been some switches I've run like a million plus times on my switch break-in machine, and they will, and they feel similar to this, but this feels even smoother. So... Being as there is no ping on these, I would assume that they are pre-lubed at the factory. Because um, there's no ping whatsoever. It has a almost a glassy bottom out, though it's a bit muted. It's not quite as high-pitched as you would expect a polycarbonate switch to be. Um, and I'm actually quite impressed when I saw that it was all polycarbon out I wasn't sure if it was going to be too clacky and while it is clacky it's not overly clacky it's something that I think would make it good for a clacky build so we have a fully polycarbonate body they are five pin switches of course you can always snip off the two legs if you need it for three pin because it does look to have the uh, thinner pin on the right which might actually fit into some of the older sockets, but let's give it a shot just to see. Comparing this real quick with the Leo Bog Greywood V3. That's the Leo Bog. This is the Topaz. But yeah, so these switches will actually work and older Otemu or sleeve style hot swap sockets as they both have the thinner pin, though you will probably have to snip off these a pair of side cutters to cut off those two extra plastic legs. Don't ever cut off the actual metal pins because then the switch won't work. So it's nice to know that these switches are not only three and five pin compatible, but they're also compatible with older boards. Some of us have used Milmac sockets or have boards we really like that have those sockets in there. So it's nice to have another switch that is an option. So it looks like we have a single stage spring that has an actuation force of 59 grams and a bottom out force of 65. This is the top housing, polycarbonate. This is the bottom housing, and if you look real close you can actually see a little slit smear of grease right on that inner rail so that's probably adding to the fact that it's so smooth right out of the box while that does look like copper to me i'm gonna guess it's probably like a blended alloy of copper and palladium i don't see I, palladium is usually silver from my experience but it's probably an alloy on that leaf spray and here we have the long pole linear stem of the key boom. 
Now, I've gone ahead and loaded these switches up on a Rainy 75, um, and I'm using double shot ABS denim keycaps. These are an old, old set of keycaps that I have, and I've used them, and I'm honestly surprised that they haven't begun to shine at all. But I wanted to show how it looks with the blue. I was expecting it to have more of an effect and actually make the light that comes through it more bluish but it really doesn't while it does seem to soften up the light it really doesn't seem to affect it i have it on white right now and yes it does have the slightest amount of blue tint but anytime you get a white out of rgb it's going to have a slight bit of tint to it whether it's more on the yellow side or more on the blue side depending on uh, if it's warm or cool but i'm actually surprised at how well these don't affect the rgb colors now these switches do come in a nice magnetic case you can actually see the magnets right there and there are 35 to the box and the retail price on them are 15.99 per box of 35 though i think i i have seen them on sale for cheaper I will go ahead and leave you guys with links down below. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test of the Key Boom Topaz Linear Switch on a Rainy 75 that is completely stock with the PC plate and double shot ABS cherry keycaps in the denim colorway. I do hope that you enjoyed this review and until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.